This week on 3D Archery, we're reviewing the Bear Paw Dura Stop Archery Net. Hey everybody, Greg here, and welcome to 3D Archery. You know, shooting indoors is what a lot of people do, especially, you can hear it in the background, that's my furnace. This time of year, winter, because it's a little cold outside if you live up north. You know, and I've seen it like I did my other one, my Bup Sports one, the blanket. People shoot indoors, they miss, they put holes in their walls, they go through the glass, things like that. So I shoot my basement, but I actually have the archery net. Now, this is the Bear Paul Durastop Archery Net, right? And it's a great answer to that question of how to prevent damage if you miss, right? Now, I'm going to read from you. I'm going to look down and read from you. This is how Bear Paul describes it. And I'll give you a better idea because you know what? They could probably talk about it better than me. It says the Bear Paul Durastop netting achieved excellent results in all tests, both for ultra thin carbon arrows and carbon arrows with thicker diameters. This backstop netting is perfect for backyard, indoor, and outdoor ranges. The backstop netting comes with plastic hooks. PVC coated steel cable, assembly and operating instructions. Now they go over this over and over. They keep repeating that not 100% guaranteed accidents will happen. They say it, you know, it's like that old school report we did where we say the same thing seven times but change how we say it. So there's a whole paragraph like that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to the next paragraph where they say it once again. There is no, in big letters, arrow backstop net in the world that can guarantee 100% safety or protection. Now this one here is designed for bows for use up to 50 pounds. That's what it's supposed to be able to stop. All right. Now here in America, if you're in the United States, um, Custom King Archery, it's a website online, they sell it. If you're over in Europe, you probably might be able to buy it directly from Bear Paw. So what about the net? Well, the net comes in three different sizes. You have what I have here is a 10 by 10, and that cost $178. Remember, I made this video, prices may go up if it's farther down the road. You can also get a 10 by 20, that's $299, and a 10 by 30 for $399, right? Now, what did I order? Well, as you can see, I got the 10 by 10, right? I had to say I ordered from Custom King, quick shipping. Now, you notice how they said they got the uh, little cable for you? And what it is, they got grommets all around the side and you can run it and hang it. Well, I didn't do that. I built a PVC tube frame. Why? Good question. I did that so I could take it outside because when I teach archery to foreign nationals and kids and things like that, my arrows are going to be on. I hate digging, looking for burled arrows. So I put this up so I can at least find them. So we're going to do this. I'm going to take it. I'm going to shoot it indoors. I'm going to take it outside so you can see my little setup. I'm going to show you some close-ups of it, and then we're going to give you my final review of this awesome product. All right, before I begin my indoor test, let's talk about it. One, you cannot put this up against a wall. <laughs> You're going to lose your arrow. I have mine about six to eight inches. There's the wall. So there's a little bit give. I probably should bring it a little bit forward. All right, we'll find out today if that's enough. I'm going to shoot a heavy wood arrow that weighs 546 grains. I'm going to shoot, which I really don't want to, my super skinny Predator 800. Don't know the weight. It's light. And then I have a 500 spine regular and a 400 spine regular. Now I'm going to shoot it using a 43 pound bow and a 50 pound bow because that's what they're supposed to be able to stop is 50 pounds. My basement nine yards, a little less, all right? So this would be a good test of what it does to my arrows. All right, here I am with my 43 pound. You know, <laughs> it's something not right. I just find it ironic, I'm shooting a bear paw target with a bear paw brace. Don't ask me why I tried that. All right, let's start out with the big guns. 43 pounder with wood arrows. I want to shoot the yellow bag. Sorry, this is a 25 pounder. Yeah, it's my 25 pounder when I pulled it back. That's right. 
still straight from 25. I mean, why do I got to try two in the lows? It's my other 25 pound. Small arrow. I heard it hit the wall. I had enough energy to hit my wall. Yet, they all are definitely hitting the wall. Alright, so it actually threw them all back. I'm going to move my curtain a little bit farther forward because I know if my 25 pounder is hitting the wall, my 50 pounder would definitely do it too. Alright, I had it 8 inches from the wall. No damage, right? But you can see the white markings. It did touch the wall. This one, also, right? So I did that with the backstop a little bit forward, and I'm gonna try something else. I put uh, my bag on the bottom of it. So before I didn't have anything under it, so when it hit it, it just slid across the floor. But this time, hopefully that will hold it, and it won't go in as far. All right, let's try all this again. Well, I might test it just to show you, so you got an idea of if you can use it in your basement or not, or how to use it. All right, let's try the wood arrow again. Ooh. I'll stand up here. Oh, didn't even get close to the wall. So we learned learned a lesson there, didn't we? Secure the bottom of it. All right, here's a four. Uh, yep, four hundred. Yep, not even close. Five hundred. Super skinny double death penetrating eight hundred. All right, there you go. I'm gonna take you up because I can see the dimple. And we'll see if there's any damage to the net itself. All right, the only arrow that did anything is that super skinny 800. And I'm going to zoom you in so you can see. Didn't damage it, but it did ever so slightly push the fibers apart. See it? Right there. Look at that. All right. As you can see, none of the others did any damage to the screen. 50 pound Ben Pearson Mustang. All right, let's start off with wood. Let's see if it can stop wood. 500 and something grains, 50 pounds of bow, seven yards. Making sure my strings are lined up. They are. I hate to break this bolt. Oh my god. Well, came all the way back. No damage. Let's try the 400. But they are definitely, definitely <laughs> pushing this thing to its limits. Didn't even touch the wall. Pretty good. That heavyweight arrow pushed it. Um, 500. And I'm hitting the same spot over and over, so we're really testing this fabric out. All right, the big one, 800 spine. I can see the three impact points. All right, 800 spine. She went through and she hit the wall. All right, let's go up. Let's take a look. Arrow, oops, sorry. Arrow was undamaged, but it did penetrate. There's the hole. It pushed the fiber out, and there's the wood. We'll zoom in and show you. All right. Sorry. 
There's wood. See it tore the fabric. The wood did, didn't it? Yeah. Now let's go down to the skinny one. There's the skinny one. So we got our answers, don't you think? All the rest, the other two, left no marks in it. All right, why am I sitting here with this net on my head? Because in the last test you've seen, I stopped two out of the four arrows. Well, here you go. 800, super thin, wood. But all the rest, and I hit them all in the same area, are good. Right, you can see two over here. Um, actually, those aren't arrowheads. <laughs> Those just scrapes my paint. All right. So, what about this netting? What about it for the indoors? Well, I'll tell you what. Stop the 500 and the, and the 400. Perfect. Never hit the wall. The super thin one went through it, hit the wall. The big heavy wood went through it, hit the wall. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take them outside. I'm going to shoot them outside to see if they actually pass through or will the arrow stop actually stop it and how far they actually go into it. All right, they work great. My sick, my 800, my super skinny ones, and my wood are exceptional arrows. That's a 50 pound bow throwing 500 grains of arrow down range. And wow, you can't, you can barely see the hole, it's right there. All right, it's there. It's all, that's like it healed itself. The 800 actually damaged the fabric a little bit. All right, so you know what, it does work. Remember, you're not supposed to be shooting it. This is for when we miss, just to protect the arrows in the wall a little bit. All right, let's take it outside and let's give it the next test. All right, here we are outdoors. I have to apologize. My little rig that I built, I had two T feet, <laughs> left them at home, and I live like 40 minutes away. So I engineered it, let's hope it holds together. All right, so. We're going to shoot first a 600, which will simulate the two 500s and the 400s. I mean, they don't, not much difference. I am less than 10 yards away, same 50 pound bow. All right. You know, like I said, from 10 yards, you shouldn't be missing. All right. But for testing, I have to shoot my net. Stopped it dead. All right. The wood arrow. You know, I have to say something about this uh, Ben Pearson Mustang. I love it. It's so smooth to draw. And you know, people always say, oh, recurve bows, you can twist the limbs. Not this one. <laughs> These are wide, man. They made this baby wide. Beautiful, I ain't doing nothing. Not totally different than in the house. All right, last one. 800, super skinny. Now I bought these 800s, I was at ETAR, and the guy from Lancaster said, we got these arrows, you gotta try them. It was in the booth, in the vendor area. And he goes, you know, this small diameter, man, gives you much more per, uh, penetration. You know, the same idea as a 22, like, like a, uh, a 7.62 won't go through the old bulletproof vest, but the 22s would because they're so small and so fast. And that was their logic. And I had to say, I do love my Predator 2s. All right, next one, last try. Every single didn't even penetrate. Go figure. Well, I never would have thunk it. Now the ones in the basement penetrated. And I'm about the same distance, actually probably a little bit less. All right. What we're going to do now is I'm going to move the camera over. I'm going to shoot it at an oblique angle. Because if you use these in your club, you might have it that way. Or maybe use them as a lane divider. 
and let's see what they do to an arrow then. Will it just bounce off? Will it actually stop it? You know, it's, to me, it's a good question. This is going to be weird. Pretty good, did what I wanted, right? It's tough to hit something that's curved where you want. I'm gonna shoot a little higher. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna step over a little bit, block the camera probably. I'm gonna try to get a heavier angle on it. Right, let's try this angle. All right, let's go up and take a look because I want to show you a couple things I went up and looked at when I got them last time, and we'll see if it did any damage. Okay, this is the one in my basement that actually damaged it. This one was another one. Here is the one from out today. This is the wood. You can see that's dirt. It didn't damage the string. And I hit all in here. There's no damage whatsoever to this screen. Looking at my side impacts, I see no damage either. So there you go. It works beautiful outdoors. All right, everybody, the Bear Paul doorstop netting, right? What can you use it for? Obviously, an archery stop, right? In your house, in your basement. Make sure it's at least 12 inches away from the wall, especially if you're shooting a heavier weight bow because it's going to push that back. The netting back is going to hit your wall. Now, you can secure the bottom, and that might help. Right, but it's still gonna give no matter what. It's gotta have a stretch factor. And I'll tell you a story, totally unrelated, but you can laugh at me. I was in the 101st Pathfinders when we were sent to the University of Michigan to do a demonstration. We were rappelling out of a Blackhawk. And me and Phil Harnett, good buddy of mine from the Army, we were gonna Australian rappel out. That's a face first rappel with your snap link in your back, leaning out, hand out, and we dove out, dove dive out of the helicopter and me and Phil made a bet right last man down buys beer all night now we we're paratroopers pathfinders so you know what we usually did so I wasn't gonna lose to Phil so what we both did is we pulled up slack on our rope and what that did is allow us to free fall a little bit so I dive out poof, get in the pose I'm looking good man the crowd screaming it was awesome. We're flying, we're flying. I see Phil next to me, and I see Phil break, and I go, ha ha, I got him. So I took my hand, broke. I forgot that the ropes that time had a quarter stretch factor. So if you stretch it out, it stretched quarter of its length. So I broke. The ground's coming, the ground's coming, the ground's coming. I put my feet out in front of me. I smack into the ground. My knees come up, smack my chest. My face hits the ground. Front of University of Michigan in the big stadium. Thousands of people. So not to look like I did it wrong, I popped back up and I started like, ta-da! And my buddy Phil walks up, you look good, Greg. Except for that big club of dirt in your helmet. All right, so stretch factor. Totally off target. I just love that story because it is true. And I mean, I knocked the snot out of myself. So don't forget the stretch factor, all right? So, backstop, side stop, beautiful. Now. If you have a shoot and you got a target up in a tree, you can put this behind it so people can shoot at it and you got a much safer target. And with all these holes, you can hang leaves off it, you can make it like a ghillie suit, right? There's, the possibilities are endless. You know, it's a good investment, safety first, it's what we always teach, right? All right, so if you get a chance, I would look into the Bear Paul safety net. So, my final test. one yard away wood see what happens all right don't forget to subscribe all right and i'll see you next time with an all-new episode 3d archery <laughs>